Welcome back. Let's play some more games and see how things go. There's another tournament coming up this weekend. And we could use a few games for fun, for practice, whatever. Although I'm probably better served studying than practicing, but hey, you know. Let's play a normal game against whoever happens to find us in the 10 minute pool. And see if we can play some decent openings, some decent castles. I don't know. On this site, I seem to prefer playing um, Third Fall Rook. So I'll try to play Third Fall Rook again. Last time it went pretty weird. I haven't yet had time to review the games from last time and probably should be doing that. But, you know, uh, it's more fun to play games than to study. But yeah, it should take some time to study after this. Good luck. Check the overlay. Oh, really looks good. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Um, interesting. How is this going to play out, I wonder? Right, so they attack the head of my bishop. The only way I can defend it is like this. Um, I think this is okay. If not, we'll find out very soon, won't we? So this seems to be the focal point where everything's happening, so we're going to apply pressure down the fourth file instead of the third file. But I do have a rather unique shape, uh, which is alarming. Um, hmm. Well, let's have some fun with it. So, in, uh, in the opening, it, usually a bishop is uh, just as powerful, if not more so, than a rook. So let's see if we can put these pieces to good effect. Um, we're going to do a very quick castle here. All right. Um, interesting. Is there some problem with taking this? I don't see a problem with taking this. This looks fun. I mean, this is risky, sure, but um, what's a game without a little risk? Um, let's defend my king just a little bit. So I sacrificed a knight for this. Okay, and they're going to defend. And I thought I had a plan. My plan was to take here, and then I realized I'm dropping a second piece, and I became very uncomfortable with it quite quickly. Um, but there's got to be some way forward. Hmm. How do I progress? Let's play a calm move here, not panic, and eventually we'll figure something out. But yeah, right now it's looking pretty bad. Okay, we'll play this to a more threatening square. And maybe this guides our attack somehow. It's true that my bishop's no longer defended by the silver general. I might double up. Oh, well, no, if I double here, they're just going to move this gold over. And I won't have a way to attack the silver anymore. Right. Um... 
still, we could use one of this piece, so let's try that. And then, oh, that's a fork, but not in my favor. Okay. Hang on. Goodness. We are losing this game very quickly. Um... Um, uh, yeah, this is gonna go down. It's just a question of how fast we go down in flames at this point. Um, because I am missing all kinds of tactics, uh, so... Yeah, what do we do? This is not great. This seems to be the only way forward. <laughs> we built Mino Castle. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's a shape, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll take this with the option of retreating. Yeah, this is, like I mentioned earlier, this is really terrible. But, hey, um, what can we do? So, we'll approach the king. And maybe this helps us make a threat. Um, right, I could have seen that if I'd spent more time looking. Um, I could fork these with a gold general. Fork doesn't seem like... Well, if my gold runs away, they promote the lance, and I'm in trouble. So, let's do this fork, even though I'm not happy about it. So I'm going to lose my entire castle here, but I might gain something. Not even sure what. Yeah, so there's two ways this could have gone. This way we get two pieces for one. So we're slowly clawing our way back from oblivion into mostly oblivion. But we have a knight. We have two knights and a lance now. Um, but our gold is hanging. They have two bishops and they have a gold. And, well, I thought I would be dead here, but I don't see a knockout blow right away. But I'm pretty mostly dead. Yeah, um, this is problematic. <laughs> Uh, can I make any threats at all? Um, it's quite hard to make threats here. All right, let's use a pawn. Oh. Yeah, okay, my king is dead. Uh, we gotta run. I missed that, but... Okay. Go for Yeah, this seems to... well... Play out a little bit more. Okay. Um Let's see where does he dress now? Okay, this knight would force me to go up this way. Let's keep going.
I think he missed a checkmate earlier. Um... <laughs> Okay, let's give him another pawn. Uh, let's see. Offer some exchanges here. Uh, let's see, I think they still don't quite have enough to mate me. Uh, night drop or silver drop, which is it going to be? I think it's got to be night drop again for my king's safety. Okay. Thanks for the game. Let's play another game. There will be ample material to review in that first game. They played quite well, uh, but checkmate's hard. Good luck. Uh, I go first. All right, I'm not interested in a rook exchange. Uh, okay. Or rather, bishop exchange. Let's play third fall rook. Whoa. Okay. Let's get the king out. Scourge action on that flank. Build. <laughs> Can I call this Rapid Mino if I don't tuck my king into it? Um, I don't know. Seems a bit pretentious to name something. Um, okay, this is a decent place for a silver usually. Make some other threats. They're kind of interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to stop them from playing Yagra. Um, if they were intending to play some Yagra on the left side, now it's much harder for them to do so. Um... Where does my silver go? Well, this seems like a reasonable place for it. Right. Let's tuck the king back out of this. Um, get my bishop somewhere to go. That surprises me. Um, Alright, I think I have to just open this line for my rook. Like, this looks super reasonable here. Um, and normally they'd want to build some kind of fortress Yagra shape here, but it's not happening. Um, hmm. That's interesting. I didn't notice taking here could be kind of fun. 
but also extremely risky. Um, hmm. I did not expect them to advance like this. Um, yeah, let's drop back here. We have this bizarre move order by which we obtain a fun shape. We still have a pawn in hand, which could be useful. I mean, yeah, it's concerning that the rook is staring right down at my king. I'm not sure what to do about that. Oh my gosh. Well, now I'm inviting a fight. That's not smart. But it's fun. It's just not at all intelligent for me to seek this out. Unless somehow it's actually like my only course of action, but it's so risky. I did I'm not protecting this point. And they can push this pawn. So like unless my counter thrust on four or six five works. Um yeah, what what can I do? On the other hand, my rook is kind of stuck in front of my pieces, and so it really needs this freedom, but... Oh, this was unwise to seek, no, this, to seek this out. Um, my pawn drop... Actually, the rook can't take this, can it? Um, so I could take a move to defend like this. I still have a pawn in hand. My entire position is hanging by a thread. I don't know what to do. I don't think they have a good move here. So I burn a move, building a more solid shape. What's this? I'm not really interested in opening this side of the board. If they move the knight, then my pawn thrust is more effective. If they don't move the knight, I don't know. Like, I should be attacking on the left side, and they're giving me ideas, and maybe I should try the same ideas and see how it goes. That might be a reasonable course of action here. But then their king escapes out to the right really easily. Yeah, so this amps up my attack. Why I'm attacking from my castle... Uh, oh, sorry, my alarm clock's ringing. One sec.
so... Okay, they proceed with their attack, which seems like a smart thing for them to do. I don't have a way to strengthen my attack further. Wait, do I attack like this, or do I exchange bishops? No, this is the stronger way, because I have a pawn promotion threat. This temporarily blocks the bishop, but the pawn promotion really, it's going to do some damage to the shape of their castle, because their bishop is not defended. Alright, they have taken a pawn. They're threatening to take this pawn. It's kind of an important pawn here. <sighs> um, yeah, the rook is staring directly at my castle. It's more than a bit concerning. If the rook weren't directly here, I could ignore things a bit. So I'm stalling for time a bit here. If we exchange lances, then my knight climbs out. Um, So my king is defending for itself. They have a lance. It's not a bad place for a lance. Um, it's not a good place for a lance, Go though. Fun. All right, we counter. So I can build up a more solid shape. I'm not sure if gold takes forward might have been better. I don't know. Lance drop is certainly going to happen, but I don't know where it leads. Hmm. Slow. All right, let's have some fun. The rook is hanging, bishop's hanging. I mean, yes, my knight's hanging, but, you know... So if the bishop moves, I can open this diagonal, attacking the gold and the rook at the same time. Also, my rook crosses uh, the fourth rank here. So, um, not sure where we're going.
I think they had a much stronger way to attack. My rook's been prone the entire time. They're eventually going to find that my rook is not defended. But at this point, I want their king. Also want their bishop and rook. Okay, we'll take here. Um, hmm, how do I attack this? I'm not sure. Yeah, let's try to activate my pieces. Wow. That's confidence. Um, Okay, let's take here. And I don't know. Sampun. Sure, this seems as reasonable a way as any to proceed. Now that we have overwhelming material force. We have to put it to good use. My rook is still hanging. Still doing nothing, but hanging. Um, I would prefer to wall in their king if I can, but I might not be able to do that. Right now, the rook cannot promote on this turn. They might sacrifice the token to... Well, they can't immediately promote it, even if they do that. Um, okay, that's a fork. Thanks for the game. Two for two this morning. Not bad. Good luck. Okay. We're going to have a fun game. Who doesn't enjoy third foul and central foul stuff? Um, hmm. okay, let's immediately put pressure on the left side of the board. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is an idea or just a bluff on my part. Um, I do want to build a castle. I'm not going to completely neglect that. Um, yeah, okay, we'll build it this way. Okay. 
Okay, we have to tuck the king in before offering the bishop exchange, otherwise we lose a lance. So, um, but here we could offer a bishop exchange if we wanted to. Problem is they would drop the bishop on our face and we would cry. But, yeah, we could. Oh. Well, now they've moved their rook, so... Yeah, let's take one turn to do this. Normally, yes, you do want to move the rook back uh, to prevent tactics. But here, there's other tactics. So, yeah, they aren't interested in exchanging bishops. Um, but I'm interested in using my rook, so we're going to use my rook. We're going to use it here, too. Drop this back. Now they have no pawn in hand. I hope that's going to be relevant. So I have two pawns, they have none. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where to develop the rest of my pieces. They've not pushed the edge pawn, which is a bit irregular. Um, nothing's defending this point. So that should be my next target I, in an ideal world. Um, okay, they're not playing Anaguma Castle, so... What now? <sighs> How can I proceed? I'd like to strengthen my castle if I have any doubts, but I don't see a way to do that. Um, okay. It was nice having my bishop defended by my silver, but um, yeah, what can I do? So we're going to move forward. And continue forward again, just making good shapes. Still deciding whether or not to push this pawn, because it's going to take a hot minute to get that pushed. Um, yeah, let's push back against this edge threat. <laughs> oh, right, no, I should move this back to the third file again, before they have chance to build a more solid shape. That's where the rook belongs. It's not over here, but right toward the king again. That's what I should have been doing one of these last four moves. Not in this move per se, but one of the other last four moves. I should have brought it over here. Because now they bring up this pawn, they bring up the silver. I mean, it does loosen control of that, but what can you do? Um, yeah, this is absolutely where the rook belongs. Putting, renew, renewing all the pressure we have, we could threaten another pawn drop if ever they try some other tactic, like they bring up the silver boom pawn drop. And if they exchange pawns, then my rook ends up taking the silver. Or I can later drop another pawn right there and they can't meet that with the pawn drop. Um... Still undecided about pushing this pawn on the king's head. Though it seems reasonable. Um, it's just going to take one, two turns to do it. Oh, this is defended, isn't it? I forgot that would be defended. Alright. Um... They have two pieces in the way of their bishop. Hmm. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let's try to activate the bishop this way. I'm not convinced this is a good idea, but it looks interesting. It looks like their forces are stretched a little thin. Although I'm not sure how best to exploit it. Like, if they use the rook to defend this, I might in some cases be able to take it anyway. If they move the gold out of danger, I could renew a threat on the bishop's head, so... Okay, and if they just put this out in space... Um... Well, their gold is completely hanging, so let's take it. Mm -hmm. Right, so now their bishop finds some life on the longest diagonal of the board. They do have an attack against my center, which I have to take seriously. Um... Hmm. I think this is my best defensive move. There are some risks involved. See it. Now they have a bishop in this position where bishops are quite useful. Go for and they do demolish my castle. Um... I might let the knight go in favor of attacking the skull here. So my rook finds freedom once more. They have a silver and a bishop, which again looks really scary. Um, because silvers and bishops cooperate well with each other. So I'll have to attack swiftly.
I'm still trying to find, is there any way at all that I can both defend and attack at the same time? Coming up a bit empty on that at the moment, but it'd be great if there were some. Oh gosh, really? Well, that kind of answers my prayer, and then some. So, yes, thank you. Um, okay. Now, there's no way I'm getting a bishop here, but... Um, Alright, let's use the knight. We're threatening a silver drop. Oh, okay. We're executing a silver drop here. Thanks for the game. Alright, yeah, Shogi Wars is exciting. Um, so... Because there is no Bioyomi on Shogi Wars, you can get some very crazy end games that resolve in unpredictable ways. Well, well it's uh, Friday. I hope we enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.